Today we'll be looking at a way to edit faster by using a keyboard shortcut. What I like about this way of, of setting the start and end point is that you don't have to use your mouse at all. So it speeds up the whole process. So what we're looking at right now is a project I recently worked on. Um, we're just going to use this clip to show you what I'm talking about. Before I used to just uh, rely on my blade tool. You might be familiar with this. You just scrub and and then you click the spot where you think you want the starting point to be. And then you go back to uh, the selection tool and you select the part you don't want and then you click delete. But I find that that's too time consuming. Let's just undo that. Um, oh, also the other way is by actually dragging the clip. But again, you have to rely on your mouse. Let's just use, try to stick to using your keyboard because it will speed up the process for you. So what the first thing I do is I play it by hitting the space bar. Let's see, there I come into frame. Let's say I want that right there to be my starting point. Um, what I do is I hit the option left bracket key and that moves the whole clip to the right and that sets my starting point. Um, let's play it again. Let's just play it for a couple seconds. Let me pause it. Let's say I want to move a couple frames to the left. I hit the left arrow key or if I want to go right, the right arrow key. And, the, and as you can see, it moves the the end point a couple frames over. So let's say that's my end point. I just tap option right bracket key and it will move the whole clip to the left and that sets my out point. So there you have it. This is the keyboard shortcut I use the most. I really like it because I don't have to rely on my mouse. I don't have to switch back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse. And if I can stick to my keyboard while I'm just scrubbing, it just speeds up the whole process. If you have any questions, let me know and I hope you use this. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so because it lets me know that you like these kind of small but very helpful tutorials. I'll see you on the next one.